It's all free. I posted it on eBay and I took a best offer on one unit for 750 and another for 350 It's a weighted plush. Huh, never seen that one. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell for a profit. These items come from my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. This is what it looks like. Definitely go join. There is a link down below in my link tree. You'll see that in the description of the video. Definitely come and follow us over on Facebook, Bolo Buddies. And, um, this is what I posted in the group. It says, share your best May bolo. Everybody in the group that wants to share and be a part of this video puts in the comments a screenshot of their item. They tell me where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for, and I create this video for everyone to watch. So thank you to everyone that participated. I hope to see more bolos in the future from other members of the group. This is such a great way to contribute to helping others learn and to learn yourself. So let's get started. I bought this vintage frog valance for 50 cents at a yard sale and sold within minutes for $35. I wasn't sure how to price because I didn't see any others. I probably priced too low. However, I was happy with my sale. It's uh, from Sears. It's vintage and look how cute it is. So typically what I do, if I cannot find an item, a sold comp, um, I do have worth point. I use that to help me. Uh, Terra Peak is free. You do have to pay for worth point. Do I recommend Worth Point? Yes. Uh, depending on what you sell, I think it can be a fantastic tool. I held out a long time on getting it because it's kind of pricey, but it helps me make more money. And I do have videos on that. You can type in Bolo Buddies Worth Point into the search bar and see some of those videos on how it's helped me make more money and why I think it's worth it. Uh, there is a link down below. It is a referral link. If you guys join with that link, um, I would greatly appreciate it. And let's move on to the next item. But what I always say is if you can't find it, start your item at an auction at what you're hoping to get. So in this case, $35, start the auction there. And you never know, you might get a bidding war, you might not. It might sell for the price that you're asking. But either way, you're going to know if it's something that's maybe extra special if you can't find any comps. So that's what I recommend. I'm not saying that's the best way, but that's what I do. All right, let's look at this next one here. Picked up this men's shirt at a yard sale for a dollar. It was missing a couple buttons. I listed for $49.99 and after about a month, I think, I sent an offer for $44.99. It was accepted. I was happy with the sale and the yard sale. This is what it looks like. Parish Nation 5XL button up plaid shirt. Hmm. Missing buttons, missing buttons, and still sold for $44.99. That's, that's pretty cool. Bought at the Goodwill for $0.99. Cents, sold for $45. Also bought another mug. Also, Hornzia, Hornzia? Newsprint? It was an elephant, but not in pristine condition. It was $0.99 cents also, but only sold for $25. So that must be whatever the print is on the mug. Rare 1976 Hornsea Newspaper Lion Coffee Teacup Mug, England. There you go, 99 cents into $25. Oh, no way, I'm so confused. Okay, this one sold for 45 and it looks like she sold another one not in pristine condition that was an elephant that sold for 25 So still, uh, definitely one to be on the lookout for, for sure. Purchased at Savers for $4.20 with senior discount and took a best offer. We were asking $185. It did take over a year. <laughs> it did take over a year. <laughs> it did take over a year to sell, however. It is Build-A-Bear Jack Pumpkin Kitty. And this is what it looks like. And if you guys have not seen my Bolo Buddies plush uh, Build-A-Bear videos, definitely check them out. Some of them can go for crazy money. Most of them are bread and butter. So get to know which ones sell for big money. This one ended up selling for, it looks like a best offer of 165 plus shipping. Bought four of these Commonwealth Chanel 
chenille plush for a dollar each at my local Humane Society thrift store. And it sold for full asking price of $110. Wow. 1999 bean bag stuffed animal. Chenille stuff does really good. That's awesome. Picked up for $2.99 at the Goodwill. Flipped in seconds for $74.80 plus shipping. Many telling me I messed up, but I don't see 700% profit as a bad thing. Oh my goodness. Um, it's a Halloween Anna Anna animatronic. I don't know what that word is. It's a prop. It's a head prop. And what she's saying is probably people told her she underpriced it. Vintage Halloween or discontinued Halloween can go for really, really big money. So this, depending on, I don't know, maybe some people looked it up and saw that it went for more or because there weren't many listed, this might have been another item that would have been good to auction. But like she said, she turned three bucks into 75 and that is a fantastic profit. So, you know, you just, you just take your profits and move on. And that's how we learn. Uh, but she may be right. Maybe it was only worth 75. Maybe the people commenting on her post were wrong. And you will find that there are a lot of, of opinions in the Facebook group. So you guys, if you join the Facebook group, just please be kind. You know, just, just be kind. <laughs> Treat everybody nice. This was listed for about three days. So a quick flip. It is a Fisher Price Slumber Babies plush. Can't remember where I got it, but sold it for $73.55. And this is what it looks like. This one comes from the Rebel Reseller. If you're not following the Rebel Reseller, oh my goodness, what are you doing? She's fantastic. And she is a bolo finder, but she specializes in plush and I have learned so much from her channel. So I will link her down below. She is a Bolo Buddies member, which means that she has joined Bolo Buddies memberships for perks at level two or higher. And she gets a shout out with a screenshot of her YouTube channel. And then I link her down below in the description. So you guys can join membership for perks. Um, if you would like, no pressure. The channel is completely free. Memberships are for perks. I didn't realize this was Avon until I was processing it and was very surprised with the comps. It is a Count on Andy Monkey plush from 1988. I have, I may have gotten it from the Goodwill Benz. It sold for $51.29. Wow, there are Avon items that are still a bolo for sure. Avon Count on Andy Monkey. That's what it looks like. It's weighted. It's a weighted plush. Huh, never seen that one. I picked this up recently at a church yard sale. I paid a dollar. I contemplated putting it on my Fisher Price wall, but decided to list it. It is a Fisher Price Cozy's Rabbit Plush, sold for $55.15. Ooh, it's Thermal Weave. Thermal Weave, definitely be on the lookout. This is so cute. So um, at the beginning of Rebel's video, she has a Fisher Price wall. So that's what she's talking about. Definitely go check out her uh, videos. I get up every morning and look on Facebook at various free pages and groups. This one was posted for a bunch of amateur radio equipment in my town. I quickly messaged the person and she told me to come this morning and get it. When I showed up, she was boxing up a bunch of equipment for me. She was glad to get rid of it and it was all free. I posted it on eBay and I took a best offer on one unit for $750 and another for $350. I sold everything rather quickly, including manuals, cables, testing equipment, and other HAM ham radio stuff for a total of $1,625, and it was all free. My By far my best flip in my 13 years of reselling. Wow, that's awesome. Found the calculator in a catch-all box at an estate sale for $1. Took a few weeks to sell, but buyer paid full asking price. It is a vintage Hewlett Packard HP 11C scientific calculator with case working. $109.89 plus shipping. That's a great return on the money. Paid $6.99. 20% military discount. So $5.60 ish. Sold via promoted listing on eBay in two weeks for full price of $125. I just got started and have learned a lot from this channel. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. It is a golf guard, hard-sided travel bag, shell carry case, black wheels, rolling locks. And this is what it looks like. 
and the buyer paid shipping because that's kind of probably an oversized item for sure. Pick this up at a yard sale for $1. I knew that Crabtree and Evelyn was a good brand to resell, but I didn't know this was a discontinued and hard to find scent until I got home and researched it. Sold two days after listing for $49.99 and the buyer paid shipping and it is new in the box. So just so you know, um, perfumes and stuff like that have to be new. Hi, Courtney. Thank you for allowing me to share a bolo. I found this vase on the bottom shelf at a Portland Goodwill. It looks scuffed and stained, but I could tell it was something special. I used Google Lens to look it up and saw that they sell well. I paid $15 for it, cleaned it up a little bit, and put it up for auction at $149. It sold for $247.50. I was very happy with that sale. I got great feedback as well. This line of Niloak, N-I-L-O-A-K, pottery has over 100% sell-through on eBay, so it was a great bolo. Check that out. That is fantastic. Found at a garage sale for 50 cents. Usually on lipsticks, if they are intact and a good brand, I will take the risk. New Estee Lauder Pure Color Long Lasting Lipstick Sugar Honey Shimmer sold for $35 plus shipping. So it was new without the box. Like you can definitely tell when lipstick has been used. I bought this sound isolation screen at the bins for $5 and sold it for $15. Uh, this one comes from Cora's Corner and this is her eBay store. She is Cora's Cool Corner on Whatnot. And it looks like she sold this for $15. So wonder why it was $5. Maybe it was um, not like the Goodwill bins, but it was, uh, what do you call that? Like the Amazon or not Amazon, uh, the pallet bins maybe? I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay, here's another one from her. Found this coach purse along with another one and a Ser Serene... Serena, Serena Williams bag and a thick rawhide leather bag, all for $6.69. Each took a best offer of $40 plus shipping. Sold in less than two weeks. Buyer was all in for $57.10. And this is what the coach zip looks like. Bought for $5 at an estate sale and sold for best offer of $80.65 in two months. It is a vintage... Fat is beautiful. Cocktail plates and cups. Set of four. Fitz and Floyd. There you have it. We found this vintage L.L. Bean boat and tote bag at our small town thrift store for $2. Thought we had a $30 or $40 bag. Turns out it was a bolo. Sold for best offer of $300 plus shipping to Japan. Buyer was all in for $405. Side note, all offers were from Japan. Hmm, that's good information to know. Certain countries, it seems like um, they collect certain items. I know when I post the vintage baby dresses, uh, the full circle type, I get a lot of offers. I can't remember which country it is, but I'll get tons of offers and they're all from the same country. So they must be collectible in that country. This sale was made on Kitizen and Kitizen is more, I believe, kids clothing. I've never sold on that site. Let me know your feedback down in the comments if you sell on that platform, how you like it. Um, I know that if you use List Perfectly, you can cross post to Kittison. Uh, List Perfectly is a cross posting service where um, you can cross post. I start my items on eBay and then cross post to Poshmark and Mercari, but there are, I think, 10 different platforms you can cross post to. You can use the catalog or you can cross post directly. I do have a video down below that shows you exactly how to use it, like it's a demo video. I personally like to see how things work before I invest in them, but do invest in your business. Get more eyes on your items by being on more platforms and uh, check that video out. If you like what you see, you can get 30% off your first month of List Perfectly with coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word. And that video is down below. So it is a Vintage Bills wallpaper border. Picked up these three... LA Rams rolls in a box at Goodwill for $3.99. I have not listed the others. I had them listed on eBay, Mercari, and Posh. I added to Kittison just for fun after a few months. Very surprised that is where they sold. Wow, $71.25 plus shipping. 
So Kittison is, I was thinking it was just clothing, but it looks like it is hard goods also. Anybody want to, you guys can let me know in the comments. I saw a bolo post for antique embroidery hoops and thought I'd see if I could find any. Found in a craft grab bag of four embroidery hoops at Goodwill for $1.99. Making this 50 cents. Started bids at 32 and sold for 55 via eBay. I'm sorry, via buy it now before anyone else could bid. Oh, okay. I see what I see what she did. So she had it up for auction starting at 32, but somebody offered her 55 and she took it. It says antique princess five inch embroidery hoop Gibbs wooden metal adjusting bow spring. So if you look here, it says that it sold for $32. When you take an offer or a buy it now. Okay, so when you take an offer and it becomes a buy it now, they show you the starting price on eBay. So that information is not always accurate there. Just FYI. This one comes from Cat Feelin' Thrifty, and she has a YouTube channel and her eBay store. They are both called Cat Feelin' Thrifty. She said, I purchased a large jewelry lot at a local online auction for $45, and this is one of the items in the lot. I have about 80 cents into this. It's an antique Victorian Egyptian, Greek, I think it says, scarab, 1880s, revival brooch, sphinx, Lions Large, sold for 169 plus shipping. That is fantastic. Great keywords, oh my goodness. So go follow her, you guys. I'll link her down below. Hi everybody, I'm Cat Feeling Thrifty and I'm a full-time reseller out here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I sell on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari and I go as Cat Feeling Thrifty on all three platforms. And yes, I'm eventually going to come to whatnot. I keep telling Courtney I'm going to do it, but I have the heebie-jeebies, but I will get it done. So my bolo this month is a painted pony called Dashing Through the Snow. And I picked it up at an online local auction for $15. I was excited because I knew I could sell it for over $100. Picked up the item, brought it home, and packaged it, and one of the little ears was broken off. I was so sad. I called them up, and they right away credited me and uh, told me to keep the item. And I was about to stick it in my yard sale box, and I thought, you know, I'm going to see if it'll sell. So I stuck it on eBay, and of course, I disclosed the broken ear, and I put it up for $50. And sure enough, someone bought it within two weeks. So the moral of my story is, don't just throw out your broken things. Put it on eBay. See what happens. Can't hurt anything. As always, Courtney, thank you for everything you do for us, and all of you that put out videos to help us grow our business and to learn. Thank you to you all as well. I hope everybody has a great and prosperous week. Purchased two boxes, I'm sorry, two big boxes of baby items at an estate for 16. Have sold many items out of it, including these cards. So just a few cents cost in these. Vintage lot of 68 greeting cards, baby Christmas, Valentine's birthday, 70s used for crafting. And this is what it looks like. $38 is what she uh, got for it and the buyer paid shipping. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member, The Bulldog Shop, and this is her eBay store. An international sale to the Netherlands. I paid a dollar for this at an estate sale, was in my profit pile for six months. Sold on eBay within a month for 52 plus shipping. UFO and alien books have always done well for me. All right, you guys, we are going to stop there. There are a whole bunch of these videos for May. Definitely check them all out because you are going to learn so much. I know I have. Thank you to everyone that shared. Uh, there's going to be some videos popping up here and here, a subscribe and another video down below. I'd love for you guys to check out another video and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Oh, and go join the Facebook group. Thanks for watching.